Welcome to another YAL tutorial. This is the first of the additional tutorials that originate from viewer requests. Doran has requested something on storing information from a YAL workflow in a database. Before we get to that, we have to talk about codelets and about installing the database management system. A codelet is a Java class that is invoked from a task. Everything that you can do with Java, you can do in a codelet. You can use it to do complex computations. In most cases, however, it's used to communicate with the outside world, IT systems outside of YAL. In this tutorial's example, we create a random number. We focus on the deployment of codelets. As usual, you can find the necessary files in the companion page below this video. I've based this whole tutorial on Oracle Java 8. If you manage to run this based on OpenJDK 11 or later, please let me know in the comments. So let's go to the computer. Okay, so I have opened NetBeans here and what we'll do is we create a project, we have already done that, in NetBeans and we go to New and we choose Java with AND and Java application. And then we created a project called Random Codelet. And you can see this Random Codelet project here and in this project we have a source package that is called org your foundation your resourcing codelets we can also choose another name but this one is the package name of the ordinary your codelets and inside this we put the random number codelet.java and here you can see the code of this codelet and the interesting part is the execute method. Uh, in the execute method there is an exchange of the input and output parameters of the codelet and then there is a part that does the actual logic and in this case um, it's the random generator that generates a random number between um, I think 1 and the maximum number. And the maximum number is the input parameter to the codelet. So that's for the code, the file is in the supplementary material. Um, you have to, in order to compile it, uh, you have to go to the uh, project properties under libraries and you can add in the class path, you can add the library yawlib and also jdom2. These two are needed for compiling our codelet. Then we compile the whole thing. And the resulting jar file, we put it here in a directory YAL plugins directly under C. And here you can see random codelet 2 jar. This is the jar file of this project. And there's also another jar file from another tutorial here. We have to tell the YAL engine that it has to look in this directory. And for this, we edit the web XML file. This is the web XML file in the resource service web inf directory of the YAL engine. This file is also in the supplementary material. You can use this or you can just edit your own file. There's just one line we have to edit. We have to go down somewhere there is a parameter called external plugins path and there is a description here that explains well how all this has to be set up and we just took the example directory 
C your plugins you can choose any other directory of course and that's all we have to change so now we can compile the whole thing put the jar file in this directory and then we can start the YAWL engine and also start the YAWL editor And in the YAWL editor, we load the specification codelet invocation.yaw. This is also found in the supplementary material. And this is a very simple three step workflow. We set the maximum number, this is a manual task. Then there is an automated task. You can recognize this by this green triangle here. As soon as it's automated, it has this green triangle. And then in the third step, we check the random number. This is just a control if everything has worked well. And um, you can, if we select this invoke codelet task, uh, you can see that here we have said that this is automated. So we have put the check mark here. And if we go to this um, three dots here, um, we can see that the random number codelet is in the list so this is something you have to check when you try to do this you may have to restart the YAWL editor um, before things become visible but your codelets should be in this list there is a list of default codelets that come shipped with the YAWL engine like example codelet for example and um, then this is here and so this has to be connected and the next step is that we upload this to the YAWL engine and we have a new case with case ID 4 here it is and in the admin queues we just assign this directly to this admin user here go to the work queues and we see the first task set maximum and I put in 56 here complete and then the invoke codelet is running we may just look at the log here so um, check out successful check random number so we can see that random number is now active we go to the admin queues and see that this is in our work list in the started queue and the result is 46 that's all I hope you could get this running on your computer. Next, we'll install the Postgres database management system.